Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Bosch BCH86 SILGB cordless vacuum cleaner. And what I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you'd hit the like button and click subscribe to my YouTube channel. First of all, we need to get the vacuum unboxed. I must say I've always quite liked how the, the Bosch cleaners are, are packaged. Uh, you see the instructions are pretty thick. There's quite a few languages that this arrives in, but uh, I shouldn't need the instructions today. So it says it's valid within Great Britain. So we've got the main floor head. Uh, these have come in quite a few different colours over the years. The Athlete range of cordless vacuums have been around for quite a few years now. Uh, I remember talking about some of the, the earlier ones quite a few years ago. Uh, we've got the charger. That's pretty, pretty important. And then we've... What have we got here first? We've got the handle. I'll show you how to put this together because it's really easy on the athletic cleaners. And then we've got the main body of the vacuum. So there's not too much in here. But do you know what? I really like that. I know a vacuum cleaner is designed to clean the house for you. But I'm sure the, the look of it is quite important as well. I just like the, the little blue trim around it. But uh, often what we'll do is in my videos, I'll just comment on the packaging that, the, that it's arrived in. And as you can see, the majority of it is recyclable. So hopefully this box and a lot of this packaging can be recycled. Uh, some of this probably can't be. But I'm glad that quite a few manufacturers are going towards the recyclability of the packaging. Because often once it arrives, then people don't really keep the boxes nowadays. When it comes to putting the vacuum together, it couldn't be easier. What you need to do is just get the main floor head, the main body of the vacuum, that clips in there. Then you've got the handle. Just remove the, take off the protective covering, that clips on, and that's it. So within, within the minute, we've got that sorted and fully assembled. You will find that the vacuum will arrive with some charge in it, uh, but I'd always recommend giving it a good charge before you start to use it. When it comes to charging the vacuum, couldn't be easier. As you can see, just plugs into the back of the vacuum in here. So you just pop it in like that. The good thing about the Bosch Athlete range is because it is freestanding and because it just can go anywhere in the house that you're not limited to where this can be plugged in. The reason I mention that because quite a few other cordless vacuums that where you put them on the wall, so where they're wall mounted, you're limited to where they can go because you need to find one that's near to a main socket that, so that it can charge at the same time as it's been stored. This is the 28 volt model and it normally takes around four to five hours to fully charge. Uh, but all I'd normally recommend is once you finish using it, then just plug it in and that way you guarantee that it's gonna be ready and fully charged for the next time you use it. Uh, as far as the runtime on this, you get around 60 minute runtime. Uh, clearly that would depend on the level of suction that you want to vacuum at. And on here, on the handle, you've got the different options for suction. I'll just show you. And you could hear that there's quite a difference in the sound. And the main reason for that, on the first level, that's just purely the suction only. So if you wanted a vacuum on say a hard floor, if you've got say laminate floor, wood, um, ceramic tiles, things like that, then the first one is normally okay. And that one is where you can achieve the 60 minute runtime. As soon as you start to move into levels two and three, then that's really where the brush roller will kick in. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, and also the suction will be increased. Then number three is where you've got the turbo suction. And that's really, if you've got a dirty area in the household, that you need to give a good clean. I suppose the classic one for me, when the kids have come in, say they've got a dirty footprint on the carpet, I've not noticed it, and then it's dried, if that's quite a, a difficult to vacuum area, so that's really where number three would come into its own. So although the runtime is up to 60 minutes, then that's mainly achievable on the first setting, as I just mentioned. On the second setting, you should be able to achieve around 25 minutes, 
and on third setting, so if you were to use the turbo setting throughout the whole duration of the battery life, then you'll get around 10 minutes. I know some people will think, well, 10 minutes isn't a huge amount of time, uh, but especially if you've got quite a dirty area that you need to get vacuumed, then that's still pretty good compared to others on the market. At the top here, the handle's really nice, soft handle. Uh, you will find it's quite nice and easy to get a grip of. Also, if you want to carry it, then it's a good handle on the back. This design, I suppose Bosch have kept for several years, um, almost going back to the very original Athlet models. On the front here, you've got the battery status indicator. That's just showing you how much charge is left in the vacuum. Just show you this. So you can see at the moment, it's down to one segment out of three. So that's why I mentioned earlier that it could really do with a good charge before you start to use a vacuum. You will also notice it's got something called sensor control. That's a blue LED light on there. And what that will do is that will indicate that if it's blue, that's fine, everything's working okay. As soon as it goes to red, especially when it starts to flash red, that's really where the filter needs cleaning. And, and to get to the filter, all you need to do is just press the two buttons on the side and that releases the bin. Uh, the bin capacity on this is 0.9 litres, so it's quite a good capacity. If you're comparing them to other vacuums on the market, then it's certainly a really good, uh, nice big bin. The reason I mention about the bin capacity is because there's nothing worse than vacuum in and then you realise that you need to empty the bin. It gets really frustrating because a lot of other cordless vacuums on the market, especially around this price, uh, have got a really small bin capacity. But it just shows you on the inside here that when it's flashing red, then you've got the option to twist this part inside. And what this will do is, first of all, you can take that out. Uh, with the, some of these you can wash if you want to, uh, things like that. There's no electrical connections. And over the time, I suppose after a couple of months, you know, it can get quite dirty. Something like that, I'd recommend giving a, a good wash, but make sure you give it a, let it dry properly before you put it back in the vacuum. Now with this, that what I was just mentioned about twisting it, is you just turn that, and you can actually do that while it's within the vacuum. So you can do that while it's in here if you want to. Uh, and what it does is it just releases the dust from within the cartridge here. Uh, but personally I'd recommend taking it all apart, going and doing that, ideally outside, because what you will find is that a lot of the dust and rubbish will come back up at you. Uh, it's never that pleasant if you do it inside because you don't want dust going around the, the area where you've got your bin. So that part of the filter isn't designed to be washed. Uh, you can do that one. And also when it comes to this side, uh, Bosch don't really recommend washing it. Uh, but personally, because there's no electrical connections, I don't see a problem at least getting a damp cloth and giving it a good white round. Uh, I always quite like to keep the things like this nice and clean. Uh, you might have seen I've done quite a few cleaning videos on different vacuum cleaners over the years. Um, I always think, especially when you've got a nice clear bin, then it's always nice to keep it clean, keep it presentable. Uh, and then that just drops back in and just twists like that. Uh, when it comes to cleaning it, I would always recommend just make sure that round here, the rubber seals are really, really clean and free of any dirt or dust. If you put that back in, and if it's not quite located properly, you will find that the suction will reduce quite a lot because it's not completing the, the vacuum around the bin. So just make sure that's nice and clean and put back in. As I said earlier, if you are going to clean any of it, make sure it's completely and utterly dry because what you don't want to do is to put the, say the, the outer shroud back in when it's still damp because what you can find is if it does get water throughout the motor within the vacuum then you could damage it and that won't be covered under the two-year warranty. At the bottom here, then let's just take that off. I should have done that earlier really. Anyway, you've got the, the brush. So to take the brush out, that's quite easy. I'll just show that again because I put my hand in the way of the camera. Uh, if you just press that and then remove the brush bar like that, so you can do it one-handed. And As you notice, you've got the Stiffer bristles, you've got the red and the black bristles on here. Now these are, this this design of uh, the brush bar, to be fair, Bosch haven't changed it over the years. I suppose if it works, then why change it? What's really good is that they've put this down here. You've got two slots, so you've got one either side. 
and this is really designed so that if you get hair wrapped around here then what you can do is you can actually just get a, a knife or a pair of scissors be really really careful you don't want to hurt yourself uh, or damage this as well uh, but if you get a pair of scissors just slice it along here it just enables you to get the hair off a lot easier again that design has worked really well over the years and it does go down really well with customers as well and then when you're ready to put it back in just slides back in and clicks back into place what I want to do is just give you a quick demonstration as to the different suction levels and how it compares to picking up some porridge oats from the carpet now this carpet I'll be honest is quite wiry it's, it's quite an old carpet it's not that great for vacuuming up on uh, quite a few of the cordless vacuums have struggled over the years to uh, get up the the porridge from the carpet that's why I tend to use the porridge because it's quite a good test of the vacuum uh, but what I'll do is I'll have number one so on this setting where I've got the vacuum at the moment that's where it's just the suction on its own there's no brush bar at all there's no brush roller spinning round. number two is the medium setting then number three will be the turbo setting so it'll be really interesting to see how it gets on let's have a go I will just go over this one again, because to be fair, I did do two passes over the first two. There we go. So just proving that the once you get the brush roller involved, then it really, really improves it. Uh, I, to be fair, I didn't really need number three, uh, because I think the, the second setting more than uh, got the, the porridge oats up off the floor. I know it wasn't a long demonstration, but I thought I'd just give you a brief overview of how well it performs and it gives you an idea of the noise level as well. I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Bosch BCH86 SILGB Cordless Vacuum Cleaner. As I mentioned earlier, I would appreciate it if you click subscribe on my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up on the video as well. If you have got any questions on the vacuum, if I've missed something, uh, I try and cover a lot of the different uh, specification of the vacuum, but I've, if I miss something, just pop it in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, or if you have got one of the Bosch Athlete cordless vacuums, because they've been around for quite a few years now, uh, overall they have improved it a little bit. Uh, as far as some of the design, they've tweaked some of the little bits as well. Uh, but overall, the design is, is fairly similar. Uh, I have noticed that when I was uh, taking the original photo, for the thumbnail that actually matched the vacuum today. Got a, a black and white theme going on with my shirt and the vacuum, so that's quite coincidental as well. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me.